G'day all. Um, it's me back again. I'm still having difficulties with this uh, hit and miss engine getting a spark. Let me say up front, I appreciate, I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate all the help and advice that's been coming. But alas, um, I still haven't been able to get um, any movement on this engine. I can't get even a, a, the slightest spark. Just wanted to ask you something while I've got you all here. I've got the switch out here, this contact switch out from the uh, the engine. I've got it stuck with a little bit of blue tack onto this screwdriver. So all I've got all you guys brains trust out there. I've got the battery pack. Now some people have told me that um, you need more than three 1.5 AA batteries. But then I'm watching everybody on YouTube and they're all running uh, the same motor, same hit and miss engine on three AA batteries. But what I need to ask you, so I've got the battery pack here, and I've got the two leads coming out, red and black lead coming out here. It's going through the uh, CDI igniter. But what I've got to ask you is there's three wires coming into here. Now everyone's told me that this red wire here is extraneous and it's not needed but I'm just going to show you this so I've got a white lead coming into uh, this is, will be the bottom this is upside down this contact switch so the white lead is at the bottom and the black leads at the top so I'm just going to touch the uh, the black wire here which is connected to the battery so I'm getting continuity there so now I'm going to put the probe on the red wire coming from the battery pack and there's nothing, there's no continuity but if I just touch this red wire here I'm getting continuity there through the red wire so I'll just do that once more for you battery packs here battery packs here, three, three uh, double A's Put the multimeter probe on the black wire coming from the battery. Put it on the black wire going to the contact switch. Got continuity. Put it on the red wire, which is the white wire coming to the bottom of, bottom of the, the contact switch. Nothing. But if I touch it on here, this little knob of red wire, is there something wrong? Is this what's wrong? Should that red wire be contacting on here or does something happen in the CDI igniter that makes the spark come along the um, the white wire I just not I'm not understanding why that black wire here gives me that and the red wire gives me nothing here to here but it does to there I, I'm not sure what's happening here I'm not sure if that's correct and something happens in the voltage charge in here that sends a voltage spike down that white wire I'm not sure, I have no idea how these igniters work am I on the right track here or am I or is this right, this this uh, red wire does nothing, what I've been told that that red wire was for was for um, the hit and miss engines that run off a hall sensor they, they have three wires going into them so this red wire is um, extraneous and not needed so I, I can literally, what people are saying is literally I can wrap some electrical tape around that and just forget about that red wire but it's still I can't get my brain around why once more for the sake black wire to the black wire contact red wire to the nothing nothing no continuity but I get continuity there if some if somebody out there can unravel that mystery for me um, I just I can't understand what's going on just while I've got you one more question I'll aim this up here so I'm touching on the earth wire I'm touching not the screw I'm touching the round part of the earth wire, the, the little round um, thing that's soldered in there, so I'm just touching that with the probe 
uh, touching everywhere, touching the spark plug. So I take it that's proof that that's a, that's a good earth there. Put it on once more. Touch the spark plug. Touch all the metal parts. Yep. So I'd say I've got I've got good earth, but um, this one down here. This one's got me beat. If somebody can, if someone can tell me why the black and white wire is going in there and why this red one's not used, and my my limited electronic knowledge is, is I'm thinking that that red wire should be attached there so that when they when they touch, they're making electrical contact. Otherwise, I, I just can't get my head around it. Anyway, I'll give you another look at this. I'm really happy with the way it looks, but I don't want a shelf queen. I want a, I want a running hit and miss engine. So, uh, again, all you guys out there on, on the forums and uh, on YouTube, can't tell you how much I appreciate the help and advice that you've been giving me. But um, anything else that you can pass over would be great. I did buy this yesterday which will take four um, double A's that, so that would give me uh, six volts instead of this one's just four and a half but I, I still don't think that's necessary because no, no one else is using six volts. Everyone else is ru running theirs on four and a half volts but um, again Sorry to keep going over this. If someone could help me out with that wiring here on that on that switch, this red one, and why this why why they don't make um, contact, or that they don't make an electrical contact when they touch, but they would if that red wire was connected where the white wire is, unless I'm getting confused and some magic happens in. Uh, this yellow box that uh, makes that white wire live and it, it, it arcs over. But again, this is where my limited electrical knowledge, electronics knowledge, knowledge absolutely fails me dreadfully and uh, I'm paying the price for that. So, okay, I'll stop borrowing everybody. Once again, if someone can help me out, it'd be super, super appreciated. As always, Thanks guys, really appreciate it. Bye for now.